Sure. Um, when you think of the right to try legislation, we want to balance two different pieces. Whether it's the Food and Drug Administration or the European Medicines Agency, they play a very important role. Because what they're there for is to ensure that the drugs we try are safe. And so when individuals are, whether it's in a clinical trial or getting a prescription from their physician, that they can have confidence that we understand the safety profile. With right to try, it means individuals would be accessing medicines before a regulator has had a chance to review all of the data. So it's really important that we keep a healthy balance. Clinical trials are the tool for us to evaluate how well do drugs work, how safe are these drugs. So the clinical trial process is very important. Right to Try gives individuals the ability to access medicines earlier. And we just want to make sure that we're still providing a safe environment for patients so that when they do access new experimental therapies, they have a reasonable expectation that the potential for a benefit outweighs the risk of any adverse events. Sure. It's not often understood why the Public Health Safety Act was first passed in the United States of America. It was back in the 1800s. There was a vaccine that was developed to prevent um, infectious disease that when it was administered, uh, the children all got lockjaw because of the protection of the vaccine. It had been contaminated, and so there was a group of school children that ended up uh, requiring uh, significant medical treatment. So the Public Health Safety Act was passed saying that drugs had to show purity and potency. And so we said at its fundamental basis, why do we regulate drugs today? It's to provide safe environment uh, for the public. You know, Food and Drug Administration plays a very important role in making sure our food is safe. And it's often overlooked that when you think about the drugs that we take, their primary interest is to make sure wherever possible that the drugs are safe and that the benefit risk profile is balanced. So that's a very important role they play and they don't often get enough credit for that.